Hey guys, it's Matt's Tech here. I'll be installing Windows 10 LTSC. Yeah, I'll explain my situation in a second. Okay, so I'll go through this setup and explain what's going on with this computer. So, I put Windows 8 on this computer and I liked it. It was it worked well, but there was that there was software that just didn't work with what I needed with it. So you can see Enterprise LTSC. Okay. The computer that I was using, like I said, I already had Windows 8. So I put Arrow 10. Now Arrow 10 I actually really liked. Um, I thought it was actually, whoa, you can move it down here. I didn't know that. I actually liked Arrow 10. Arrow 10 is really beautiful, honestly, but there were two things that prevented me from using it. One was I used the tile start menu. That start menu for me was not included. And yeah, well, I can disable the one that was on there, and I did. The start menu does not match any of the other elements on the system. It doesn't, wasn't made for it, so it doesn't support it. So that was kind of annoying. So that's just a little thing that kind of pushed me away from Arrow 10 a little bit. And it's nothing against the creators, it's just that, sure, if you like the style of start menu that they put on there, then yeah, it'll work just fine for you. But for me, eh, it's not my favorite. So. Yeah, nothing against the creators. I will be I will be happy to go back if they were able to address the second problem and the first problem as well. I don't I tried looking up a way to make the start menu match the taskbar and other elements, but I couldn't find anything. So the other element was is that it was based off of LTSB 2016. Now, I was more than happy to use LTSB 2016, except for the problem that the Windows Store well, it does work, I was able to install it, there's a video on how to do it. While it does work, the app that I needed for it required a 2016 build that was later than the one that I had. Uh, it required, I think, like, a late 2016 build, and this was like a mid-2016 build. Um, and that was Paint 3D. Paint 3D did not run on LTSB 2016. It will run on LTSC 2018, but... Yeah, so that's one reason I couldn't stick with Arrow 10, and it, it, it's, it really sucks, but... I'm honestly happy to move to a newer Windows 10 operating system that still has the bare minimum features. So yeah, I will let this time lapse go on now, so then, yeah, I need to do some editing for my channel, but yeah, I'll let this time lapse go on, and then, yeah, we'll get the, what the heck happened with Zoom? I am sorry about that, I didn't even notice that. I don't know what caused that, honestly.
here we are into the setup, and I can immediately tell that Cortana is not here. It immediately sent me into this. I was wondering how it would react to this, but yeah, just a moment. The version that I have on here does not have Cortana on it, which is really nice, actually. I was kind of worried about it a little bit, but because even Cortana is okay, but Ethernet's not connected, yeah. Okay, give me a moment. There we go, moving on. Now we have some important setup to do. Oh, cool, that appears, I didn't know that. Dun 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 I don't need the timeline doing everything. Oh, okay, now here are all these settings. No, 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 sure, and no. <sighs> it's nice to see the new interface with the um, minimalistic design of LTSB. Well, C now, but since they changed it from long-term service branch to long-term ser service channel, which is interesting. Hopefully I can sign in with the Microsoft account. You didn't see this, but it wouldn't let me sign in because it says it must be a worker school account. I might be able to add it after setup, but if I can't, that's a slight deal breaker. I might be able to look it up and I might be able to Google it and force it on there, which I feel is completely possible, but yeah, it's not preventing me from using the computer, but it is preventing me from using it the way I want to. So yeah, that's kind of annoying. Uh, I'll figure that out though later. So yeah, now I've just got to wait for this again. that was definitely a lot different than usual. So if you didn't see what happened, it didn't even go to like the screen where it said, hi, we're setting things up, da 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 It didn't do any of that. Uh, I need drivers. Um, it's missing that and it's a problem. So is there a surge app? Yeah, there is. Okay. Nice that the timeline exists, although I need, there, device manager. That's the nice part. Since it doesn't do any web searching, it's quite a bit nicer. Uh, the way this works. Where is my flash drive? Oh, yeah, it's right here. Just like to choose what happens. I like to open the folder. That's the nice part. It's like, that's what I love about this. It's a new operating system with a very minimalistic system. This looks like a modern computer with like barely anything installed. That's what I love about this too. Okay, these little things are gonna start popping up here. I'm gonna see. Show the box. I always have the box here. It's white now. It's not really my favorite being white, but. And now you can see the start menu actually is proper. So is the action center, which I think will have the blurs in them. Open. Open. There we go. 
Okay, yeah, sweet. And I assume, yeah, it, it's awesome to just have these features, and this is annoying, but yeah, it's awesome just to have these features here. And this bugs me, there's no official, I mean there is, you can just put stuff in there, but there's nothing there from the get-go, pin to start. Let me see. No, it can only be medium. Can this be wide? Yeah, this can be wide. And what I should be able to do is hopefully sign in with my Microsoft account. I'm really hoping it will let me do that. Um, because that would be, oopsies. That would be a shame if it wouldn't let me do that. Whoa, what was that? I think it was still working good. Probably just a graphical glitch. I should just be able to sign in. Let's hope it lets me. Oh, please work. So you can see, um, I am signed in down there. I don't know if it shows my last name. My parents don't like it if I do that, so I'm just not going to show it. But yeah, this seems to be working so far, and <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, well, I didn't think it was going to do that. Okay, well, it is, it's adjusting my settings. So this is the Aero 10 wallpaper that was set uh, as default, and it made my colors look like this. So hey guys, um, it's actually been quite a long time since you saw that previous video, but I have now gotten this PC uh, back on the setup. I had to take it off for a little while because there were some issues with other PCs. You can see they're all sitting here, my goodness. You can see here I've got Windows 10 right here. Uh, I'm going to start running. This is still very simple. I haven't put much here, um, and that's because... I haven't, I've used it somewhat, I haven't used it really enough though to fill this with stuff yet. Um, I'll make sure I do this later, but you can see I've gotten quite a bit of applications installed. I installed Paint 3D uh, right here, which you might think, oh well, that's stupid, oh come on, focus, stupid thing. But you can see I got Paint 3D installed right here. Uh, and the reason for that is because I actually do need Paint 3D to um, do some of the things that I need to do for my pro programming stuff, which is sitting right here, this is the application I use. For programming, it's pretty interesting. Oh my goodness, look at the scan lines. Something else that I will mention is I actually got this PC into this setup as well. And this one is for legacy applications. However, um, if you see what OS it runs, uh, once I actually move some of these things over. Yeah, I'm gonna be, one second, I just need to adjust some cabling here through the back because I don't have a USB switch. Um, I would get one, but I don't have the, I don't, I have the money for it, and I want to get one, but I can't, haven't been able to find a good one yet, so, let me flip these quick. So, I have switched to the other PC, and it doesn't look like it, but I am. Uh, you can tell the difference because the taskbar on the bottom, it isn't blurred like it is on the other one, although it's kind of hard to see on camera. And the start menu lags like crazy when it, is, when it, um, opens. Same with the action center, these both lag quite a bit. Yeah, they both lag on this computer, that's how I can tell. Yeah, this is used for legacy applications, like 16-bit stuff. Stuff I'd run from these floppies. Yeah, anything like that. So, yeah, that's this computer. And that's about it for this video. If you liked what you saw, then click the subscribe button down below. Give it a like if you liked it. I need to change that because it doesn't really make any sense. If you like what you saw, click the like button, get subscribed, and I will see you guys all later. Bye, guys. That's how bad this PC is with the graphics. Like, it lags when I'm trying to move this window. That's sad.